formed later generations of stars. As new stars were formed, tiny condensations of matter accreted near them, inconspicuous motes of rock and metal, ice and gas, that would become the planets. And on these worlds, as in interstellar clouds, organic molecules formed, made of atoms that had been cooked inside the stars. In the tide pools and oceans of many worlds, molecules were destroyed by sunlight and assembled by chemistry. One day, from these natural experiments, a molecule arose that quite by accident was able to make crude copies of itself. As time passed, self-replication became more accurate. Those molecules that copied better produced more copies. Natural selection was underway. Elaborate molecular machines had evolved. Slowly, imperceptibly, life had begun. Collectives of organic molecules evolved into one-celled organisms. These produced multi-celled colonies various parts became specialized organs. Some colonies attached themselves to the sea floor. Others swam freely. Eyes evolved, and now the cosmos could see. Living things moved on to colonize the land. The reptiles held sway for a time. They gave way to small, warm-blooded creatures with bigger brains who developed dexterity and curiosity about their environment. They learned to fire and language, star stuff, the ash of stellar alchemy that emerged into consciousness. We are a way for the cosmos to know itself. We are creatures of the cosmos and have always hungered to know our origins, to understand connection with the universe. How did everything come to be? Every culture on the planet has devised its own response to the riddle posed by the universe. Every culture celebrates the cycles of life and nature. There are many different ways of being human. visitor examining the differences among human societies would find those differences trivial compared to the similarities. Down, down, down. 